What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I completely overhaul the cooking system in The Sims 3. There's probably not a lot of people who know about these mod combinations that completely overhaul the cooking system but I'm going to show you today and I've been using this system for several years there are some things that I needed to tweak about my food master list that I released over a year ago and so I'm gonna do it today with you guys here now the reason why there's gonna be an issue is the first and second one are actually incompatible because the second mod is included in the first mod I just forgot that I read this information because I promise you I have been using this cooking system for like over six years and it's been a while since I had to cross-reference and read all of the mods so I very quickly had to do that before making this video so we're just gonna jump straight into it all links will be in the description box below so the first mod that you're gonna want to get is you're gonna want to get the cooking and ingredients overhaul plus more nectar ingredients by Cinderella Moose because um, she includes the where is it at 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 okay so she includes the black cat cooking overhaul and then also the update by Anna Ponty and then she has her own edits to it and she also includes more nectar ingredients and Greek recipes plants and ingredients so you're so this mod essentially just eliminates one two and three three four different mods it's four mods all combined in one and basically what this does is it overhauls the ea ingredients in the game so you're going to see more options when you go shopping in the grocery store see overhauls the ingredients adds more ingredients and this is going to be really important when we combine this with the next mod so i'm actually not going to read all everything in each description of each mod because I want this video to be pretty short and concise but I do encourage everyone to read the descriptions of these mods especially because the information is going to be a little confusing and it's a couple years old and everything hasn't been coordinated very well so it's kind of hard for new people to like just download and click things I am going to show you specifically what mods you do want to install but I still encourage you to do your own reading so for the Cinderella mod you're going to get you're not going to get this one if you have any mod that edits bar hours so don't get this one <laughs> uh, you're actually going to want to get this one because this doesn't touch bar hours I have a mod that edits bar hours already so that's why I use this one um, you're also going to get make nectar with any ingredients mod so you can essentially use exactly what it says any ingredient to make nectars and this gives you a wide range of different options with wine basically in the game and then you're also going to want to get the where is it the full version okay so you're going to get one two three that's it <laughs> those are all the mods you're going to want to get the full version the cooking ingredients overhaul and make nectar cook with any ingredient you're also going to need the cc loader as well this is an like basically a utility mod that's going to make it possible for you to cook custom recipes in your game so let me just very quickly see if they actually have a link to it because again i downloaded this a while okay here it is so this will also be in the description box below so just follow this tutorial step by step get the full version get this version if you don't have if you have a mod that edits bar hours get this version if you don't have a mod that edits bar hours and then you're also going to want to get the make nectar with any ingredients mod so that you can make a lot more wine combinations you're also going to want to get cc loader it's going to be right here you need this one these two are just testing ones but i still include them in my game um, this is just a chocolate pie snack and this is an ingredient green apple ingredient and this is a generator this is for people who make custom recipes so if you're ever interested in that then this is where you're going to want to get this program but you're you want the cc loader one this is going to go into your mods folder now we're going to look at the cook with any ingredient wood fire oven sauna topping yaki grill baker station blah 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 you get it this is what you guys are seeing in my videos whenever i go to make a new 
uh, meal and this is also how you're going to be able to make custom recipes as well so as you can see here you're going to get a prompt once your sim is completed cooking that meal and it's going to tell you what you want to call it you can call it roast rack of llama with a side of bunny flambe you can literally call this anything and when i mean anything i mean anything you're also going to get a prompt um, whenever a sim goes to cook autonomously without you telling them whether or not they can prepare that and this is going to be useful for you like if you have multiple sims in your household and you're with one sim on the other side of town and another sim on that other side of town is getting hungry and decides to cook something you can decide to let them cook it or if you want everyone to sit down and eat together you can tell them no because you don't want to ruin their appetite um and then you're also it's also going to look like this just how it does in my game when you guys see it and you're going to see um you're actually going to see four interactions of have brunch serve brunch have breakfast serve breakfast one of them is going to be the ea one the other one is going to be the, the scripted one which is going to open up this menu for you and it's going to look just like this it's gonna look like dot 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 and then the parentheses it might say ingredients for you I actually can't remember but it's just gonna look like the dot dot dots that's how you know that that's the custom one and then this is gonna open so all of the recipes that that sim that you are having open the refrigerator or whatever you're using um, all of the recipes that they know is gonna show up here and then these are gonna be like custom categories where you can make more stuff and then also here is when it's going to prompt you to ask for ingredients so the buy items one is basically you just shopping from the fridge um, you can use this one I especially use it when I first move in to my sims homes but eventually when I go to grocery shopping and I get my own ingredients I start using the ingredients I don't use the buy items anymore just because I like to get into role play and immerse myself and whatnot so this is the UI overhaul that you're going to want to get let me see really quickly okay so you're gonna want to get this one cook with any ingredient if you have the baker station you're gonna want to get the baker station one if you have the wood fire oven you're gonna want to get the wood fire oven one if you have um, the top and yaki grill you're gonna want to get the top and yaki grill one and then you can also steam food with any ingredients if you have the sauna so you can literally steam any food with the sauna and then you also want to get the tuning package which gives you extra recipes that can be cooked with the main mod and the sauna mod okay so this is going to give you a wide very very wide range and then not only will you be able to cook the recipes that come with the baker station wood fire oven and top and yaki grill on any cooking station but you can also cook anything on these cooking stations as well okay and then this one is the spring harvest and cookbook so this just adds um like a spring harvest theme recipe yeah recipes um so this is going to add some new ingredients and then some new recipes just as it says so you got spring onion mustard black beans asparagus this is what you guys see whenever you see me going shopping um, at the grocery store and you see these ingredients in the menu and then it's got some black bean sauce mustard oil peanut oil mustard sauce mozzarella cheese and then the various different recipes that you can get so i'm going to tell you okay so this one's pretty easy you're going to want to get the recipes and the harvestable bowls and condiments this is basically just the ingredients you need the ingredients in order for the recipes to work and as you can see here you also need cc loader so you already installed that and then the plants and ingredients which is right here plants harvestable and ingredients okay so you're just going to download both of these and then you're going to get the green vegetables, plants, ingredients, and recipes. And this is just like the last one that we just looked at. This adds a lot more ingredients. And then a lot more recipes. Okay. So it's very, very self-explanatory. Okay. So you're going to want to get the green vegetables and condiments. These are the plants and ingredients. It also requires CC loader. And then you also want to get the recipes heavy. But this is only if you have World Adventures, Supernatural, and Showtime. If you don't have these three, then, well, if you also don't have World Adventures and Supernatural, you can't get this one either. But if you have any of these expansion packs you would just want to, you're going to want to get i have all of the expansion packs so i use the recipes heavy ones so if you have all of the expansion packs like i do or at least you have these three then you are safe to download this one okay so this is these are the two that i use um it's it's only one or the other you can't have both in your game so that's why i'm telling you to download two of these if you have these three expansion packs 
and then hot chili plants ingredients and recipes let me see here we've got chili sauce green chili arugula chickpea tempeh saitan ham bacon pork and as you can see this also adds a bunch of different things now this one is kind of difficult um <laughs> it's kind of difficult to understand like what you're actually getting here um, okay just get this one just download this one because it comes with the ingredients and the recipes but you also need world adventures and supernatural okay okay and then this one is the unused ea meshes and custom food uh so this just uses you know unused ea meshes that someone went into the game's files and found and then it also adds some custom ingredients so spice kimchi hot baked potatoes cream of lobster sashimi forest berry salad classic grilled lamb very self-explanatory and to the point let me see cc rollers require this mod requires okay so this also comes with it Okay, you also need the strawberry mod, too. Here. So this just adds strawberry plants. You can make some pies and stuff. Real cute. Real cute. So let me just double check. Let's make sure you're getting everything. These are just translations. These are the old versions. So you're going to want to get this version. This is the newest version, version 1.2. It requires CC loader. And remember, you guys already have that installed. Okay. And then the kelp recipes for mermaids. So this adds, let me see, seaweed salad, miso soup, grilled fish sandwich, and spicy tuna rolls. Um, this is this was a mod created so that mermaids had like a wider variety of recipes to eat for themselves. Um, but you can also use these meshes to cook other things in the game. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that when we get in game. So it just adds four new recipes and I believe this uses the same ingredients that come with EA. Yeah. Spicy tuna roll requires supernatural since it contains the ghost chili. Okay. Okay. So the next one is the baker's basket plants ingredients and recipes. This does exactly what it says. It comes with ingredients and it comes with the recipes for dessert and this just basically overhauls all the baking in the game and this adds a lot more fun creative recipes that I especially love to have my bakery sims um, make in the game so yeah adds a lot more stuff and then it has a lot of ingredients that you can also use in other custom recipes that you make in the game as well like the sugar the butter the baking powder all that stuff Heart cookies, I include these because I like to make things per season when I'm role playing my Sims in their seasons. So you're gonna wanna get these. These also come with the ingredients and the recipes, but it's all combined. And then the winter holiday cookies, and then the spooky cookies. And they also come with custom moodlets when your Sims eat them. Um, not this one, but this one does, here you go. So when your sims eat them they'll get these custom moodlets and it's just a really festive heartwarming and role-playing uh, mechanic that brings it up back up to the game i even like to role play these as like you know holiday traditions for my sims in game okay and then the buy takeout and order food at restaurants you guys have seen this recently in my playtesting of the similar 90 mod where i order food or i buy takeout um, I usually do it from my phone, but if you click on the rabbit hole rug or I mean the rabbit hole, like the diner or the bistro, then these options will come up because that's where the food is coming from. If you don't have these rabbit holes in your world, then this option won't show up. Um, but basically, it's just as, as you see it. You can order vegetarian meals, meaty meals and desserts. It's going to take about 40 sim minutes for the delivery to, person to get there. And it's not scripted like how the pizza delivery people are scripted. Um, they will just come into your house and put the food into your refrigerator and then they'll leave and then they'll get a notification that you paid for the food and that the person dropped it off and left. Uh, but the reason why this is really awesome is because this also includes custom recipes that you're adding in your game up here. So you're going to see like all of those new recipes that you just installed over here. And I also like to role play this. Like if I want to order Chinese food, then I'll order like a Chinese meal. If I want to role play like Indian, Italian, I'll get like spaghetti, Indian food, I'll get masala curry or something like that. And um, it also adds the 
uh, different various pizzas that come with the what is it the wood fire oven stove so I like to role play that as if I'm getting different flavors of pizza as well something that's just a bit different from the pizza delivery feature that comes with the game so it's just a nice touch and then I'm also going to recommend that you guys get the faster cooking, slower eating, and other tweaks mods. So this one, I just get the slower eating mod. This increases my dining experience by a lot. Now obviously if your sims are eating alone, they're going to eat much faster. Um, but it's still slower, slightly slower than the EA eating speed. But if your sims are eating with other people, they're going to eat much slower and actually enjoy you know their meal together and talk more and the reason why i add this is because i use business as unusual uh bistro set a lot of times when i am uh wanting to role play my sims eating out together on dates or just with friends or something like that and because they eat slower uh they're gonna have a lot more time to talk in between their bites of food so if you want to increase your dining experience and have a more natural flowing dining experience especially because i play on really low intervals and in relativity um you know sims will just actually just sit there and enjoy their meals together and then this one is bring food and drink to others anytime any place so you can literally just click on the plate and bring a serving to any person i use this for a role play mechanic as well especially if like my sim is sick and i have a parent sim on the lot and i make some soup for them like with enraw specters mod and I bring a serving of soup to the sick sim that's probably quarantining in their bedroom. Or like if it's a date night, but date night is inside the house, I'll have one sim cook some food and then bring a serving to their lover or whoever who's probably watching a movie on the couch or something, or I'll even just have them cook together. Or But you know, this just adds a lot more um, role play mechanics to bringing food to other sims. And then this is the script for custom foods. Uh, and as it says, it removes foul food. It is tunable and it includes custom buffs. So I'm gonna show you. I got these two. These are just the uh, strings for translators. Um, and you're just gonna want these two. This adds custom food scripts with custom moodlets. And then this also allows non-vampires and non-werewolves to eat raw meat. Um, so yeah, and then it comes with the custom movelets here that you're gonna see. Gastronomical, gastronomical delight, sumptuous snack. I think it's supposed to be scrumptious, but that's fine. Uh, tasty treat and blissfully satisfied. So these are from, you know, desserts. These are from like little sweet snacks. These are from like, you can pretty much put this on sweet or salty snacks. And this is more for like burgers, pizzas, you could even put this for sushi, really just depends. Uh, so, and then also I recommend getting the bag of chips mod. Um, if you ever put a bar on your home, home lot in The Sims 3 and you click on the bar, you'll notice that there's an option to automatically place a bowl of nuts or a bowl of chips. What Arsil did was he separated the chips feature and put it in an actual bag and then made it portable so your sims will snack from the bag whenever you click on it for them or will autonomous, autonomously snack from the bag of chips whenever they get uh, hungry or slightly hungry. So I usually put a bag of chips in my sims inventory when I send them to like work or school uh, and this is just because um, I'll have, they'll autonomously eat from it while they're going about and I use ultimate careers. So you'll just see that and it's a really cool feature. You'll get like a salty, crunchy moodlet as well, which is really awesome. And then you have more realistic dining for Sims mod. This is also another mod that I recommend. It's optional if you want to download it, but you know, I get the less filling food and more bites per meal. So it's just how it sounds. The food won't fill them up as much. And they'll also take more bites per meal. Um, the reason why I use this is because if you ever notice in The Sims 3, Sims pretty much only need to eat one meal a day. Um, and then they're pretty much full for the whole day. That's not realistic to me. And there was no point in me getting a bunch of custom recipes if they're only going to be eating one meal in a day. So I make that food is less filling for them so that they can eat a lot more as well as snacks in between, especially for the custom foods that I have, not the custom recipes, but the custom foods. So that's pizza, that's cupcakes, donuts, 
cookies, hamburgers, sushi. You know, I want them to be able to eat a lot more things um, as I'm playing them. And so I need the food to fill them up a lot less. I also use the Lick Clean Let's Hunger uh, because if you ever noticed, it will fill their entire hunger when, when a Sim licks the plate clean. So I, I just got rid of that as well because I needed to make it more natural with this mod. And then set the table and call to meal. This is one of my favorite ones. This adds a new scripting call to meal interaction. And what's gonna happen is this menu is gonna pop up and all of the sim on the lot, whether it's residential or community, because I've play tested with both, um, it's gonna show all the sims on the lot and then you're gonna select who all is going to eat from the plate. And then your sim will find the best routing option to set up all of the plates. And then it'll it has better routing to send the sims to come and eat that food as well so if you want to you know role play more family dinners together with better routing than the EA call to meal feature then you're going to use this mod and I I've also used it for like weddings I've used it for banquet parties I've used it for business meeting uh, parties not even really parties I just invite sims out and um, I get like you know a a serving plate of something and I put it in my sims inventory and I have it serve it that way and yeah so this adds another role-playing mechanic it also fixes the EA's feature that comes with this so this is why I definitely recommend this mod and then reheat food in microwave this is just an option that shows you to basically just warm something up because I always thought it was weird that a sim is just going to grab something out of the refrigerator and eat it cold. Uh, it's much more immersive when they put it in the microwave and then it comes out kind of hot with the steam rising off of it. So this just adds another role playing mechanic. It doesn't do anything or add any benefits or anything. It's just it just helps with simulating like immersion and role playing. So that's why I also recommend this mod. And then this one is the ketchup and co mod. Uh, as you can see, it adds ketchup, mustard and uh, mayonnaise and you can put these in your sims inventory you can put it on a surface uh, and if you make a meal and then you click on one of them it'll have a spice foods interaction okay so and then herb nausea mod um, just as I was describing to you um, when you do use herbs to spice up a meal I also use herbs in recipes with the UI overhaul mod that I showed you guys because it comes with custom moodlets and I love when my sim eats a meal and then after the meal a bunch of custom moodlets show up and to me that's like more immersive and I like that role-playing aspect to it um, because sometimes the moodlet can last for a couple of sim hours and I think that that's really awesome but I didn't like how my sim would always throw up afterwards uh, you can also role play herbs as like drugs in the sims 3 and I'm pretty sure that's what it was for in university life but because it's not super you know rated ma uh, you can actually use it in meals as well so i get the no herb nausea so that not a single time that you eat the herbs you're gonna throw up i also just didn't think it was realistic either uh, so yeah we're gonna move on to the no coughing and choking while eating this also helps your dining experience in the game i hate the way that they always coughed and choked so the one that i use is oops, the 1.38 supernatural patch and then at least for me because I don't believe that this needs to be updated anymore but at least for me um, I wasn't getting any coughing I'm not getting any coughing or choking while my sims eat uh, which means that they just have a lot more time to talk to each other in between their bites and then eat and put away your leftovers this is just as it says um, sims will more often than not go to eat their leftovers instead of making a new meal and they'll more likely autonomously put away the leftovers as well so I got the entice the sims to eat in our put away leftovers. Now this isn't a complete fix because this doesn't automatically make them do it every time. It just reduces the chances of them not putting away leftovers and not going for leftovers. So this just makes it a little bit more easier for us, especially when we're getting those prompts on whether or not a sim should be eating something or not or wants to cook something or not. And then this is the Arso Cooler mod. And as you can see, it adds a cooler <laughs> to the game and you can put food in it. And then you can put the cooler in your inventory and then you can take it with you. 
So like as this sim is at the beach and you see one sim is eating a slice of cantaloupe, another sim is eating a slice of watermelon. And yeah, so you could pretty much do that. And then with the bring food to anyone mod that I showed you guys, you could bring these foods to anyone on any lot in any part of the world. So it's also a really cool mechanic because I typically use it for like role playing features. Obviously, I'll trans I'll use the transmogrifier mod to turn like a lunchbox into the cooler mod. And then I'll put that Sims lunch for the day in that lunchbox and then I'll take the lunchbox with them to work. So that's just, you know, a couple of things that you could do with this mod here. And then these are the store fixes. So I have the canning station overhaul. And this, this to me, it just fixes everything that's wrong with the canning station. <laughs> It fixes everything that's wrong with it um, and you can obviously read more about this as I've recommended you guys to do in the beginning of this video you know to read more about this but I've always used this mod ever since it came out I've always used it I love this mod so much and it fixes just everything wrong with the canning station that came with the store and then this is the fix for the uh, bakery set. See here, this is what you guys saw, the bake many interaction. Um, dis dispose all spoiled foods, dispose all foods, sort all displays. You know, so it just makes it much easier to manage your bakeries. And then the business as unusual bistro set. And as you can see, modifies the EA store content bistro oven splitting up the chef and waiter roles into two and allows you to set shifts for them this also adds an interaction where um, as your sims are waiting for their food they'll drink a glass of water and talk with each other for a little bit longer before the food actually shows up which is a awesome like super awesome feature that comes with this mod because it also just adds so much more to the dining experience especially when you're trying to role play that in game and then this is a fix for the Tapanyaki Grill. I believe I used the no autonomous Tapanyaki Grill because when I put it on community lots, a bunch of Sims, they get like so, so interested in it and they start using it and they change their outfits and there's a bunch of plates everywhere. So whatever I do use the Tapanyaki Grill, I want it to be like intentional. So I also use it with the Sonya Use Ultimate Careers update. And I'll put that in like a Chinese buffet type of store or um, a hibachi grill. And so if these are the only stoves on the lot, then Sims who are assigned to work at that rabbit hole assigned to that lot will use the Tapanyaki grill. And then you can actually make these functional on your hibachi grill lots. I mean on your, yeah. <laughs> I said that right and then also this is a fix for the deep fryer and ice cream maker because once again it just has a lot a lot of interest with my sims and I want this to be intentional I don't even want townies using these objects so I made it no autonomous uh, so now when you want to make something from the deep fryer or the ice cream maker you have to do it manually yourself uh, sims will not use that um, at all without you telling them to do it and this just eliminates so much of a headache uh, so I'm pretty much done explaining everything to you guys about all of the mods that I use this is the ultimate mod combination that you want to get to get the same type of experience that I have in my game you're also going to want to look for custom more custom recipes there's a couple that have been released on mod the sims recently um, but I believe most of them are on tumblr I know around the sims 3 has been making a lot more uh, recipes she has a Morocco set a Greek set and what's the other one I can't remember the other name but she currently has three recipe sets that you can make as well as her advent calendar one which includes like oysters and uh, yule logs like more holiday stuff that you guys are going to be able to make in game as well so I'm going to jump in game and I'm going to show you guys what all of these mod combinations are actually going to do what it's going to look like and what kind of things you can now do more that you weren't able to do before so we're going to be right back okay so now we're actually in game welcome back um, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean when I say that this specific set of mod combinations open up a world of possibilities in the game. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this sim here. These are the new one of the new households that I added to the Moonlight Falls 
um, revamp project. Uh, this is Danny Kim here. So I am actually going to click him. I go to NROS, Master Controller, Advanced Skill Level. Go to Cooking. This is just to show you guys. I'm going to give him level 10. Okay, he's Master Cooking. So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like now because some of those recipes were automatically learned um, as you gain skills. So here you have, okay, so the have breakfast and serve breakfast is actually not in this menu. So these are completely replaced. And you can also make gourmet pet food with the same system, which is super awesome. Um, so we're actually going to serve breakfast. And these are all the recipes that he currently knows. So, yeah, as you can see here, you've got some EA stuff, and then you've got some regular regular stuff. In here, see the sashimi, that's the unused EA meshes mod. Spanak kopita, that comes with the Greek, the Greek themed recipes. Got strawberry pie. Okay, the U log that's around The Sims 3. And then this is dessert. So this is gonna be the bakery, the baking overhaul mod by Ice Mun Mun. And then this is wood fire oven. Just as I said, you're gonna be able to cook these um, on any stove, EA stove. This is all the ones that come with um, the wood fire oven. And then the Tapanyaki grill. And then this is just misc stuff. So as you can see, you can make hot wings, nachos, olive platter, onion rings, shrimp cocktail, steamed veggies, sugar cookies, and all that. So now if I click on him again, and I go to NROS, Master Controller, Advanced, Books, Recipes, and I click All. Okay, then let me just double check. I don't think all of them actually are learned. So books, recipes, okay. Okay, he does know all of them. Nice. So now if I click on this again, I'm gonna get a lot more options. See, bacon and eggs, here that's those. The bamboo shoot noodle soup, blueberry cheesecake, just a bunch, a bunch of yummy stuff. Yummy, yummy stuff. So awesome. So what I'm gonna do is, let's go to misc. Okay, still, okay. So I'm just gonna show you very quickly what this looks like on the base. Let's make some bacon and eggs. And as you can see here, we don't have any ingredients in our fridge. So he's gonna autonomously buy the ingredients that he needs. And then I'm also going to send his sister upstairs just to get her out the sun, get them. There's going to be a slight freezing just because we literally just plopped down in the world. But yeah, the mixologists and everything are going to start showing up. You'll see in a second what I mean. Boom. How did I know? Like clockwork. <laughs> so he's making... The avocado toast, I mean the bacon and eggs. Okay. Looks yummy. Okay, so as you can see, we can call this anything. I'm just gonna leave it as bacon and eggs. And then the minimum is two and the maximum is 16. So I'm just gonna give him the default eight. Actually, no, I'm gonna give it, you know, I'm gonna give it two. Cause it's just him and his sister. Okay. So here we go, there's the bacon and eggs. And then now when I click on it, you see this is the EA1 call household a meal. This is the scripted one called a meal to left. It actually tells you how many slices you have left. And then you also have the bring serving to, so I can bring this to Lilac. Um, and then I can also put this in my inventory. Or I can put it in the cooler mod. But I am actually just gonna call, mm, actually I'm not, I'm not gonna call them both to a meal. Um, I'm just gonna put this in the microwave. And then as you can see now, eat leftovers, you guys already know that. And if I have a 
let's see. A microwave. I should be able, yep, okay. So I get the option to microwave the bacon and eggs now. And then I can also make a bunch of other things in here too, which is awesome. And then I do believe that you get more ingredients that you can make with the microwave as well. Ramen, popcorn, pizza, microwave, curry wurst, breakfast burrito. So that's awesome too. Um, let me see if there is, oh, there isn't. Okay. I'm going to have to very quickly put one down. So now I can actually send him to the grocery store. We're going to get a couple things from here. Raid. What? That's crazy. Why would we do that? Looks like it was just around the corner from him. And this is also with the similar 90 mod. It um, reroutes theirs instead of him just using a taxi when he's literally around the corner. He just went there by himself. So now let's go into produce. Let's get some celery. Um, let's get a leek. Get some peaches, raspberries, tomatoes, strawberries. Uh, bamboo shoots, carrots, spring onion, asparagus, onion, arugula, cauliflower, lime, sweetgrass, <laughs> zucchini, kona beans, cantaloupe, uh, let's get okra, love me some okra, another strawberry, broccoli, um, okay, let's Put that in a meal. Olives, wolfbane flour, bell pepper, garlic, <laughs> basil, elderflower, coconut, buzzberry, cinnamon, green leaf, bumble leaf, chamomile, ghost chili. Some more grapes in here. Let's get some baking powder, peanut butter, chili sauce, nori, olive oil, cocoa powder, mustard oil, fudge, condensed milk, sugar. Well, I don't need to call all of these out. <laughs> but as you can see, I've got a lot more things I can buy now. So, yeah, going home. Let's get some catfish, anchovy, tuna, salmon, shrimp, and oysters. Let's go to bread. Okay, here's where my cookies are. Okay. Um, so I'm going to get a cupcake, a donut, some buns, crepe, granola, bread, pizza, long buns, crackers, macaroni, spaghetti. Tempeh, seitan, some sausages, tofu, ham, pork, bacon, shawarma, lamb, steak. And then as you can see, we have two different types of lamb. You can use either one because of the UI overhaul mod. Either one doesn't really matter. And I'm going to get two of the roasts. And then there's different cheeses, feta. And then as you can see here, you also have two different types of butter. Again, it doesn't matter which one you get. So I'm actually going to delete that. Eggs, as they're only $2. <laughs> I'm going to get a couple of them. And then some whipped cream, milk, and yogurt. And you can also shop by recipe as well, but you guys already know that. <laughs> so I'm going to buy all of these. And then I'm going to send them back home. He is not a happy camper. Go home, please. I'm gonna go back home with his sister really quickly. And then I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna throw all of this in. I could have sworn I had an interaction where I could just... All ingredients. Boom. Perfect. So we literally just have to wait for him to come back home. Cause I'm not doing all that labor. No ma'am, no ma'am. 
We don't do labor. We make the sims three convenient. Okay, so now he's back inside. And we're gonna have him make something real now. Um, let's do, these are one of my favorite things to do. I'm gonna make some, oh damn it, did I knock it? Okay, I don't think I got it, but, um, so you can click the ingredients here, you can sort by name and make it like, you know, automatic, or you can sort it by quality, either one, doesn't matter. Um, so I'm actually gonna make a different type of, uh, of chicken wings here. I'm gonna make, First of all, I'm going to get some garlic and I'm going to get some mozzarella cheese. So you don't actually have to use all of the ingredients in the hot wings. It says ghost chili and roast and it says it requires it. It actually doesn't require it. You don't need to use it. So I can use something else in here. So I'm actually going to go to a university uh, herb just because I want that. Uh, let's just do sweet grass Because I want the moodlet that comes with it So we're gonna let him cook And go let him cook <laughs> So as you can see all the ingredients that we picked out are on the cutting board now Okay, and then he's gonna cook that Okay, and we are back. So as you can see here, it looks like hot wings, but it's not actually hot wings. Okay, so he's gonna flip them. And this is just because I have a mod, uh, Phoebe J. Sims Dirtier Counters and Stoves mod. Um, and it just gives my Sims more things to clean. Okay, so here we have hot wings. I'm actually gonna call this garlic parm. Oops. Wings. I'm gonna make a serving of eight. For some reason, he put that on the ground. Look deep into the eye, into my eyes, and into my. Okay, whatever. Oh, girl, if you don't stop, watch TV. Mind your business. Okay. So this came out nice quality. It's awesome. So we got garlic parm wings. It does look like, and then as, as you can see this steam here, that's from the garlic. Oh, he might not be able to eat it because he's a vampire, but we're gonna try it anyway. <laughs> so we're just gonna grab a plate to eat. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Filthy ceramics. Okay, that that's from the counter in the stove. I'm just gonna sit down on the couch and eat it. <laughs> and as you can see with the other mod that I had, um, that I had recommended for you guys to eat, he's gonna eat this slightly slower um, than if he were just alone because he's eating it with his sister. I'm going to speed this up. Uh -huh. As you see, he's taking his time eating that. Whoopsie. Okay. <laughs> so he's got a garlic allergy because he is a vampire. But if he wasn't a vampire, he would have a positive garlic moodlet. Um, he's also feeling nauseous from eating garlic, so he's probably going to throw up. He's also stuffed and he's got filthy surroundings. <laughs> okay, well, we're not gonna have him eat garlic anymore, but it, it worked, that's the point. It looks like hot wings, but they're actually garlic parm wings because that's what I put inside of the food. And you're not always gonna get nice quality, perfect quality, all of those things. You're not always gonna get it. 
um, depending on your skim's sil skill level and the certain ingredient combinations that you use. So for me, it just feels like an unlimited amount of combinations that I can make with various different recipes. And the more custom recipes that you have, the more meshes that you have, the more things you can actually make. So I'm actually going to clean these two. Mixologist, okay, so now I'm gonna have him make, um, let's get a pasta going here. Let's try to make a pasta. Okay, so we got celery pasta. So I'm actually gonna make, um, I don't necessarily need the spaghetti. I don't need either of these. So I'm gonna make a broccoli chicken pasta with uh, let's make broccoli chicken and feta cheese let's see how that comes out I've never done this combination before so basically what I'm explaining to you guys is you don't need to use all of the ingredients because if the mesh already comes with it, you don't technically have to put it in your meal because you can only pick three ingredients to put in each meal. So rather than wasting it on the meat or the or the pasta noodle or the bread or whatever, you can add like another one altogether that's going to give you a custom moodlet. Okay. So this came out, what did I make this? Okay, I made this chicken feta cheese pasta. I'm gonna make four of that. Let's see, how did that come out? Outstanding quality, and I actually spelled that wrong, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, oh, and I can rename it so I can fix that actually, which is cool. So he made a chicken feta cheese pasta. Now, as you can see, this could be anything. This could be a pork pasta. This could be a chicken pasta. This could be a steak pasta. This could literally be, you can make a bacon bit pasta. Like you can make anything. This is what I mean that the meshes are gonna go a long way. All of these mods, they're doing most of the heavy lifting for you. So we're gonna put that in. I'm actually gonna have him make a dessert now. It's like a yummy dessert. And I wanna try one of those holiday cookies because I wanna see those um, those custom moodlets. Okay, so I'm gonna make a holiday gingerbread star cookie. And I can put condensed milk, cocoa powder. Do I, did I get, okay, I got cocoa powder. I'm actually gonna put cinnamon in it instead. And I'm gonna put cooking cream. I feel like that would come out a little bit more delicious. That's what I would do anyway. Okay, so you see here, and it's actually showing the ingredients. We've got the cocoa powder, the cooking cream, and the cinnamon. But it's gonna look different as he's actually cooking it. That's from the butter. That's the cocoa powder and the milk. Oh, that still got so dirty. So holiday gingerbread star cookies, cool. I'm gonna make, hmm, let's do the maximum. Let's do 16. Okay, and now I'm gonna have him, let's try the call to meal one, just so I can show you guys what that's gonna look like. So he's gonna go find the best place for them to both eat together, which is gonna be on the balcony. Now, if there were three people, then he would have put three plates down. Oh, they're gonna burn on the balcony. <laughs> Oopsie. So she's gonna stop what she's doing. She's gonna come upstairs and eat these cookies with him. Or no, she's not. So when he's done eating this cookie, he should get the cinnamon, yes, okay. So he's got the custom gingerbread feelings, the one that I showed you guys um, earlier. So that warm, cozy feeling from eating gingerbread star cookies, and he's also got the cinnamon um, one, two, spicy, saucy, brave. Danny is feeling a lot of these right now and he's ready to get romantic. So this is why you have the no herb nausea mod so that he doesn't actually throw up from it. And, um, and you can still get those custom moodlets. So now we have two custom moodlets from just that one meal, which is why I combine things the way that I do. Okay, so he's gonna clean that, and he's gonna clean that, and then he's gonna clean that. And I feel like I showed you guys everything I needed to show you. 
and gave you some really good examples of the kinds of things that you can do with all of these mods combined on his mood. So now if I go here, eat leftovers, bacon and eggs, garlic parm wings, chicken feta cheese pasta, and then I can also microwave all three. Um, if I had a pet, I could make gourmet pet food. And I can literally do this anyway. The same thing with the ingredients. I can literally pick anything to put in the ingredients for any of these animals. Um, and then I do have some more uh, quick meals in here. And then I also showed you that you can get some more options from the microwave. You can also get a couple more options from the mini fridge as well. Um, but yeah, I think I showed you guys just about everything that you can do with all of these mod combinations and why cooking is just so much more fun for me in the game now. I hope you guys test these out in your own games and you, you know, you love it. Uh, definitely comment below any of your new recipes that you guys made. I would love to try them in my game as well. And I hope that this video made a lot of sense for you and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye!